Hey guys, it's Tiny Bryson here, and today I'm gonna tell you exactly why this right here is the best savings accounts that I've ever had and why it's the only one I usually recommend to people whenever they ask me, Tommy, which bank is the best bank out there, okay? And by the way, if I'm being honest here, my first bank ever was actually Chase, okay? And I got one around 18 years old back in college because basically I got tired of waiting two to three extra days just to receive my check in the mail and it never came on time. And by the way, the only good thing about this right here is basically I got a college account, meaning I had not to worry about a monthly minimum or else I'll be charged a fee. But guess what? Till this very day, guys, I still have a college account for Chase. Six years later, I'm not complaining. I'm not gonna lie to myself, okay? However, it is weird. They have not canceled it whatsoever yet and I still don't get charged any fees whatsoever and to me, that is awesome. But however, for this video, the highlight is going to be so fine money, what I like about it and also what I don't like about it and why it's my main bank that I actually use right now when it comes to my money, okay? Now, if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day, so make sure to also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified and top about also destroy the like button. Now, I do wanna say one thing, guys, okay? I know for a fact that SoFi is not the only online bank out there, okay? For sure, I've had a lot of them, okay? And in reality, I've tried and tested a bunch of them. However, SoFi has one thing over the competition. They have remained flexible, meaning whenever a new feature comes out, they go ahead and change it and make it better for the customer. And that's always what I'm looking for. So although it does not have, for example, the best APY out there, or for example, branches out there, right? It is still one of the best because basically it stays flexible and it does a great job. And that's why I like them so much. Yes, I've had, for example, I reviewed Allied Bank, Vero, Robinhood, all those banks out there. And by the way, guys, so you guys know, okay, right now there's a new trend and the trend is basically every single broker out there is going to have a debit card. Kind of like, for example, how it used to be like basically every single retailer, Macy, JCPenney, anyone out there, they always have, for example, a credit card. Well, now every single broker, stock broker now is going to have, for example, a debit card. Does that mean it's good? The answer is no. You want to go ahead and review it. And for me right now, after all the reviews, this one right here is the best. Now, Let's get started with all the pros, and then at the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly what I don't like about it, and also what I actually wish that SoFi actually offered, that other cars might actually offer. Now, the very first thing I like about SoFi is basically the ATM problem is solved. Now, when I first signed up for an online bank, I was like, okay, how the heck am I supposed to get cash out when I need it? Because by the way, with big banks, although they might suck, they have a branch in every single corner, which makes it a lot easier to go ahead and take out cash for free. However, with an online bank, that was going to be an issue. But with SoFi, they offer something that no one else offers. Basically means, hey, if I go, by the way, it's called the SoFi World Debit, and it should be initially in the beginning. However, in the beginning, when you got this card right here, you can go to any ATM worldwide, not just in America, worldwide. And if you get an ATM fee, SoFi will reimburse you. I still have that feature because basically I signed up in the beginning. But today though, they do have a contract or a partnership with Allpoint, okay? And Allpoint is an ATM company that has run 55,000 ATMs worldwide. So it does solve the problem of ATMs. So if you basically need cash, you can get cash if you actually want to. And don't worry, in the end of this video, I'll tell you exactly what to do if you want to deposit cash into SoFi, which is basically one of the cons, but it is possible to grab some cash and go ahead and deposit it into SoFi. Now, here's the thing, guys, okay? If you do want to find an ATM, for SoFi, just go online and type in, for example, all point ATMs, okay? You click the link right here and it takes you right here. Now, at least for us right here in New York, and by the way, all point is partnered up, for example, with Target, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and a bunch of different stores, and that's why they have so much ATMs all over the place. So for example, in New York right now, okay? And by the way, when you click it, don't think it's not working. Just give it a second to actually load up. It'll load up everything, I promise. But however, in New York, the cool thing, just give it a second, guys, okay? So in New York right now, guys, as you guys can see, there's literally an ATM in every single corner because, again, they're partnered up with Rite Aid, 
Walgreens, CVS, and all those stores have a store in every corner. And that's why, at least in New York, okay, you won't have a problem finding an ATM, for example, five to 10 minutes away from you just walking. But there's basically an ATM everywhere. And nationwide, well, not nationwide, worldwide, there are around 55,000 ATMs. So if you do have, for example, cash anxiety, like tell me what if I need cash ASAP, you won't have a problem with SoFi, and that's what I like about them the most, okay? Now, the second reason I like the SoFi car so much is because the vaults account. Tell me what exactly is the vaults account and how exactly does it work? Well, I'll show you guys right now on my entire phone, okay? And by the way, is one of my favorite things for sure, all right? This right here is my phone and my account. To prove it, I'll go to calculator, I'll click some stuff here, it clicks, now you guys know, hey, this is Tommy's phone, no problem, okay? Now let's go right here into the SoFi account. Now, as you guys can see, right now, I have a spending balance of around $1,218, okay? And also, two pennies. However, I have a total balance of around $108,316 and also 11 cents. So tell me, where exactly is the rest of the money and why are you not allowed to go ahead and spend it? And by the way, this is what I love about this SoFi card right here, okay? By the way, not a sponsorship, okay? I don't get paid any money, but I do like the product and that's why I'm making this video. Now, if I go right here where it says vaults, 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 in here, I have a multitude of accounts, meaning if I want to, I can create an account and have money separate that way. Whenever I wanna spend money, I don't go ahead and accidentally spend my rent money on food, okay? You don't ever wanna do that. People do that all the time, like, hey, oh my gosh, end of the month, I don't have enough money. What do I do? Let me borrow the money. No, with this account right here, it allows you to save the money separately. That way, you don't spend it. So for me, at least, okay, I have an emergency account, a house account, wedding, travel, tax, kids, car, student loans. And by the way, obviously, I've run $85,000 towards taxes. This year, I'll be paying a lot of taxes, okay? And by the way, for emergencies, I have around six months worth in there in case anything does happen. But guys, that's not all, okay? There's also another feature I love within this entire, for example, Vault account, okay? And here it is, guys, okay? If I scroll all the way down, that's something called autosave. Now with autosave, whenever you get, for example, a direct deposit, automatically it takes the money and puts into the accounts you actually wanna put it into, okay? And that'll tell you exactly why that's awesome because basically, if you have a problem with overspending money, all you have to do is basically go, hey, I'm gonna create a new vault. I'm gonna call this vault, for example, my rent, okay? So that way you don't spend that money for rent. Click next. And say, for example, I want to put in, I don't even know, like a dollar in there, okay? I want to add a dollar. And by the way, guys, okay, it doesn't matter. Don't worry, okay? This money can be transferred over to spend an account literally in seconds. It does not take days or anything like that. No, it's still the same account. It's just different. That way you don't spend the money. But you can transfer it over whenever you want, however you want, okay? Now, the deposit is going to be zero. I'm skipping this right here. Boom, I added a dollar. I have a dollar in my rent account. However, I can set it to auto pay into this account every single time I get a direct deposit. That way, by the end of the month, I always have that money for those fixed expenses. That way, I'm not worried all the time. Hey, I'm not gonna have enough money. What am I gonna do? No, you're good to go here. And that's what I like about this, okay? And also, the round of feature is cool, but I don't really care for it because basically, if I swipe, on this card, and I wanna round up to the next dollar, I can save 50 cents, 40 cents, whatever it is. So basically, if I go to Subway, and I spend, for example, a dollar 75, right? They round up to the next, like, 25 cents, and it'll basically save that for me, but great, right? But the point is, you don't wanna save, like, pennies. You wanna go ahead and save, basically, on purpose. So save at least 10 to 20 to 30% of your money, and go ahead and invest that money. That's what I recommend, but I do love this Vault account. And I do love the auto save that way, you don't even get the chance to spend that money you get from a direct deposit, okay? Now, the third thing I like about the SoFi card is basically this right here is a hybrid account, meaning it makes between a check-ins and also a savings, meaning I do get paid money for the money I have inside. I do earn interest on it. And by the way, this account is also FDIC insured up to 1.5 million, not the standard 250K. Tell me how, because basically, that bunch of banks they partnered up with, and that way your money stays safe 
in different accounts. That way you don't have to worry about it, but it's still just in one account right here with SoFi. And I like that a lot. Now, if I go right here, for example, into my phone, again, guys, okay, SoFi right now only offers around 0.25% in interest, okay, APY. Tell me, not a lot. The highest one right now in the market is around 0.50%. Now, the big thing is basically, guys, does this really matter that much? In reality, not that much at all. So, for example, although you're only earning, for example, 0.25%, which, by the way, is still competitive and better than basically every other big bank out there, it is basically lower than the other online banks out there, for example, like Ally and Goldman Sachs and all those other banks out there. However, okay, here's why it doesn't really matter. In my account, I only keep money in there for emergencies and also for taxes, nothing else. I don't have any savings, nothing else, okay? The point is, you wanna have money in there for emergencies and taxes, but the rest of your money should always be invested. So it doesn't really matter. You won't really have a lot of money in there to make a big difference. So in my case, if I have, for example, $2,000 in this account, and I earn, for example, 0 0.0025, that's around $5 every single year, right? Not that much. If I earn 0.5%, that's going to be around $10. Is that going to make me rich? The answer is no. So divided by 12, I'm earning whoop, whoop, around 41 cents. A lot of money? The answer is no. And that's why it does not matter. Your money, your wealth is going to come from investing, not from saving money into a savings account. By the way, my fiance told me, hey, Ty, my brother said, I don't have to invest. In reality, saving money in a savings account is a lot better. I didn't understand that, okay? Because basically, any savings accounts is not going to offer more than 1% or 2% out there. And right now, guess what? You can earn between 10 to 12% in the market. So always, investing is going to be a better outlook for your money in the future. Now, there are some more features that I actually like about SoFi that I do want to mention here, but I don't really care for that much. Now, for example, SoFi also allows mobile take deposits. If you have a check, take a picture of it, it deposits, okay? On top of that, you also have overdraft protection if you actually have their deposit with them. So basically, if you go overdraft by around $50, they'll cover it, no fee whatsoever. On top of that, they also have offers, meaning you get bonuses when you actually spend money, which is cool, but I don't really care for it whatsoever either. So you wanna spend money, for example, at Dallas, Munchies, or for example, Subway, which I love a ton, which Subway? Subway right here, I can get back 10% cash back, and to me, oh, claim, awesome. So if I wanna claim it, I can claim it, and I can get back, for example, 10% cash back whenever I go to Subway and actually spend money. And last thing, if you wanna order checks, you can if you want to. So it has everything you need without, for example, the standard branch and also the standard savings accounts and also the standard features of a normal checkings account, which by the way, I don't really like that much whatsoever. Now, however, guys, okay, although there are things I like with the entire SoFi card, it does not mean I like everything about it. No card out there is perfect. And by the way, I like SoFi because basically it's competitive, okay? And I have basically loyalty for it. However, if it stops being competitive and starts being, stops being good, I'm gonna switch over, I don't care, okay? I don't have blind loyalty like my mom. My mom has had the same bank for like 10, 20 years and does not change, although the bank sucks. I won't say the name, I don't wanna get sued, but it, it is not good whatsoever, okay? But here's the thing, guys, okay? Here are the three main things I don't like about the SoFi card. The very first one is basically, if I have cash and I wanna put the cash in here, it's not gonna be free. Because basically, they use Green Dot and Green Dot charges around $4.95 for a deposit. A lot of money if you're gonna be doing this very frequently. Now, it's not SoFi charging it. However, it is Green Dot and it will cost you money. However, I do predict in the future this will not happen anymore. Tommy, how do you know that? Because basically, if you go over to the All Point website, click All Point right here, and you wanna scroll down, well, guess what, guys, okay? They actually have a cool feature. They're now accepting cash deposits, which probably means that, hey, when SoFi starts to use this with All Point, because they already used them, most likely, we're not gonna be charged that big fee. But I do have a feeling that SoFi has maybe a contract or an agreement potentially with Green Dot, and that's why they have not started using the entire all point cash deposit system. But in the future, most likely, we're going to be able to deposit our money normally. And then, 
big banks are gonna have a problem with. Right now, it is a con, and I'm still gonna have it as a con. Now, the second thing I don't like is basically, they don't have Zelle, okay? I use Zelle all the time. By the way, Dominicans call it Zilly. It's funny to me, but Zilly is just insane, right? But they call it, okay, it's called Zelle, okay? It's Zelle, not Zilly, it's Zelle. Now, they don't have Zelle, but they do have, for example, Venmo and also Apple Pay. So if you wanna basically use it for Apple Pay, you can if you want to. If you wanna send money through text to your friends, you can if you want to also. I'm not sure about the Cash App though, but they should be able to use it with the Cash App also, but it does suck. They still don't have Zelle actually being used just yet. And the last thing I don't like about the SoFi card is basically, it is a little confusing, and here's why. Because basically, SoFi is not just a debit card company or a bank, like normally, right? Like savings, banking, no. They also have, for example, loans, they have credit cards, they have also rewards, they have the whole investing part to it. So in a way, tell me, why is this bad? It's actually good. It's good because basically they want to keep it in the same place for everything, which by the way is not always good because basically just because they have a good debit card does not mean they're the best at investing. And that's why I just don't have blind loyalty. By the way, if you want a video on the best investment account, comment down below, let me know. I'll get to work on it. But overall, it is confusing because if you have all these features in reality, you might have a conflict of interest. Hey, all I want to do is save. Well, how about you invest also and get a credit card and also get a loan, right? It's kind of strange. However, SoFi does use financial advisors or actually fiduciaries, so they do act in your best interest. But my advice would be, hey, make sure you use this account for whatever is best at. And for me right now, it's best for a debit card, but I don't invest with them. I don't have a credit card with them. And on top of that, I don't have loans with them either, okay? They're great for a debit card, but go ahead and compare and contrast when it comes to every other feature out there. That right there is my advice. But right now, by far, SoFi is the best account in the market when it comes to best Change accounts, okay? It's just my favorite. Comment down below though, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Comment down below, let me know. And by the way, also comment down below, let me know exactly which account is actually your favorite. Comment down below, let me know. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to so get notified. And if you guys actually wanna text me, well, join my Patreon, link down below, or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. By the way, before I go, I also have a second channel and a third channel. It's called the Ask Tommy Bryson channel, which basically means you can call me one-on-one -on -one and talk to me whenever you want to for free. And also, for example, the Tommy Bryson show, where I also post there every single day reacting to financial videos, okay? And by the way, I post on these three channels every single day. The main channel, the Ask Tommy Bryson channel, and also Time Bryson show also. I'll see you guys next time. As always, peace.